I am excited to announce that we have recently released a brand new large 200 plus accent motion graphics template for After Effects and Premiere Pro. If you watch my channel, you know I love using accent motion graphics. And what are accent motion graphics? Well, they're simply these little small animations that are used to help you enhance your work really fast. And as a result, projects have more focus and high qualities of detail to help you produce an overall better project, which is great for your portfolio and makes your clients happy. So we've made a dedicated accent graphics pack for you to use in any project with our extension window inside of After Effects and our pre-made essential graphics inside of Premiere Pro. I want to show you how this pack fully works and how you can produce awesome work with it. So if you want to check out the pack at any time during this video, the links will be below. It'll take you over to our page on our website where you can check out all the elements in our 200 accent graphics pack. All right, so here we are in After Effects and we have our extension, the accent graphics pack right here with our categories and you can preview every element before you apply it. We scroll down here, we have a handful of just circles in this one category. We have a handful of other categories here, but I wanna show you how we can apply these to a standard title composition. So right here, we just have a title and it animates right in there, no problem, right? But we wanna be able to spruce this up and make it a little bit nicer than just a standard tile. So what we can do is go to, let's say our lines category and we can take a look at a handful of our line animations and take a look before we apply anything. So when we find a line animation that we want to apply, we can click on apply. And you see, we have this new layer right here that is applied to our composition. So we could have this animation be on top of our title to reveal it. And we can go into this composition, the line composition that we imported as a template. And there's a control layer in every composition. You can select that control layer, go to effects controls, and you have several parameters here that you can change. So for example, I come here to color, and I can change my color to whatever I want. So if I want red, that's fine. I get the second color. And we have a few other parameters in here. So if you're, if you're working with strokes, you can increase the stroke width to make them a little bit thicker or smaller. Just depends on what works for you and a few other parameters that you can touch if you want to. But then we can go back into our main composition and that's automatically updated. Now we're not done yet. I want to be able to add a few more elements to this so for example we can come here and maybe add a few more line elements so i can add line 25 to this and click apply and now we have an additional element that's here in our composition and i can put this say behind our title because maybe i don't want this to be over on top of it and then i can obviously go into that line composition and i can change any colors i need to so boom put that hex in there and maybe i can keep that blue that's totally fine and we'll go back in our main comp and that's updated that's nice and now we just have several nice line animations in here but we come here to say clusters you know and we have a total of 60 clusters in this pack and what are clusters clusters are just simply our single motion graphics combining together to spruce things up really quick so i could apply cluster 55 with our cluster applied it's just going to apply these nice assorted motion graphics around our compositions uh, in a random placement and of course since we're using multiple you know accents here we can go into the cluster and obviously we can change our color in any way that we need to change and before we had these motion graphics applied we just had a standard title animation and now we have a little bit more character to this within like literally three clicks of a button I added three different templates in here so three clicks um, and then obviously you can go and change any colors and settings as you see fit but I want to move on to another example of using this so we've got another title here and since in that first example we kind of use these nice you know packaged you know multiple graphics I want to show you how you can just use a single graphic and use this on your own so I'm gonna grab say like a basic element here so this is like a nice line explode we got a handful of these um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply line explode 9 and click apply all right, we have our line explode right here. A really cool technique, so I can come here to our character window and grab the eyedropper tool and just select that, you know, red since I want to keep the branding the same. Go into our, you know, accent graphic composition, go to the color two here and just grab that red. And we go back into our main composition and we can move this accent graphic around our composition. We can ask our keyboard for scale and we can scale it down. All right, then we can just duplicate it and just quickly you know duplicate this around our composition in random spots it doesn't have to have any meaning or it can it's completely up to you but it's just a nice way to spruce this up okay now we have multiple duplicates in here and we just offset them randomly in time so now if our graphics randomly offset in time and duplicated 
we're able to just enhance this composition fairly quick and this is just one element out of the 200 within this pack now of course we have graphics that can be somewhat meaningful to your animation so for example we have another standard title here and we can come here to say like lines we can grab some of our circular lines here so maybe we want to use line 31 and apply that and we maybe want to use this to help motivate the initial animation of the title you can see that can go around like that and of course we'll use that character eyedropper technique to grab that orange and we'll go into the line go to control and just go ahead and select that orange color right there awesome go back into that comp so now we have a nice line motivation that helps reveal on our title um, and it's just a cool unique way to think about how to use these and with our other graphics applied, we're able to take the standard title animation and screw it up with some of our other graphics. We also have three other categories in here that we haven't even touched yet, which is combos, pluses, and squares, which are all very cool. But let's move on to our fourth composition. And obviously, we've just been talking about titles, but these can also be helpful for your explainer videos or you're working on a logo animation or promos. Just by adding a little bit of accent graphics can help bring a little additional detail to your motion graphics. And you can obviously mix your graphics together and the pluses just look really nice. So just some really cool options to work with inside our accent graphics pack. For those of you that have our motion graphics starter pack, you can just click on the atom icon right here and you can swap over to our motion graphics starter pack just by hitting the check mark. And boom, here's our motion graphics starter pack. And then you can swap between any packs uh, that we have. So our packs are just simply gonna be toolkits that you can apply to any composition inside of After Effects, no matter what the project you're working on, we wanna have the elements for you. So that's my overview on our brand new Accent Graphics Pack. Remember, that link will be below if you're watching this on YouTube. You can check out every element within the pack. And if you do pick up the Accent Graphics Pack or anything on our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. And we will continue to produce you know, creative educational videos right here on YouTube while also producing new templates and making them even better. So thank you for taking a look at our Accent Graphics Pack. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.